Hey Culture Squad and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. Hi, I'm Culture Sims. Okay guys, I am so excited. Today we have our update release. We did get to download it late last night, but the quest didn't actually start until noon and it is actually 1244, so I have been able to mess around with this for around 44 minutes so far. So... I'm coming to you with what I have already seen. So this is going to be a Machino based update. Guys, James from Machino actually custom built clothing items from their Fashion Week line to put into our game. How cool is that? Okay, so let's get right on into this and see what we are working with. If you guys like the Sweet Treat event, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't played it yet, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so we're just going to get right on into this and we are going to take a quick look at some of the prizes and then of course the grand prize is awesome. If you guys did watch my last video, you will know that I went a little bit into detail on what we were going to be getting in this. So let's see. Okay, so in the treat box, they actually first glance they upped the price. It used to be 475, now it's 500. I don't like that at all. Okay, so I don't understand why they have been hearing us that we have been complaining it's already too hard to collect these and then they raised the price. Hopefully they made it easier for us to get these tokens, but if they didn't, guys, we are screwed. Sorry for my younger viewers who um, probably aren't supposed to hear that word, but we're in trouble. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we got the Simstagram Fab Neon Light. We are going to be getting the Machino Bomber Jacket, the Machino Etched Leather Shorts, we're going to be getting this Style Pop Fashion Mirror, the Polar Bear Bookshelf Bling, which looks pretty cool. We're also going to be getting the Total Poser Modeling Magazines, the Fashion Week Paparazzi Rack, which looks to be the same rack that they got in The Sims 4, which holds your tripod and like your filming gear. The next thing that we will be getting is the Machino Lux Lounge Jacket. <clears throat> and then the last thing we will be getting is the Machino Lux Lounge Pants. So I did get wind of this. I don't know how many people have actually heard this, but apparently all the Machino clothing items that we get in this pack right here are actually made by Machino themselves. So this is supposedly the line, if you will, from the Machino Runway for Fashion Week. Uh, this year and the guy James I believe who runs Machino or does uh, designing for Machino brand whatever the case may be he actually designed these pieces specifically for the Sims mobile just like he designed pieces specifically for the Sims 4 so I think that's kind of cool that we have high companies like that that are designing outfits strictly for us for fashion week that's pretty cool Hopefully the event itself is actually worth it. Okay, so those are what we get for the sweet treat box with our tokens. Now let's see what we get for our royal treat box. They probably, they did, they went up on the price on these as well. They used to be eight, now they're nine. That is not a bad price, like, upgrade at all. I can handle one. I can handle that. But going up, like, 25, that's kind of, that's that's a lot. Okay, so if we complete these, we will be receiving the Vogue Vibes clothing rack in all these different color assortments. We will be getting the Asymmetric Aesthetic Sofa. I know that when I first looked at that, I was like, there's no way you're going to get that right on the first try. <laughs> Thank God I did. Uh, okay, so <laughs> the next thing we're going to be getting is the Style Pop Bookcase. And then the Clear Sense of Style Windows. So... I think it's pretty cool that they added windows into this. We haven't gotten new windows in quite some time, so that'll be very nice. Keep in mind, all of these items are supposed to be for your house and for your fashion uh, studio in, what is it, Parkside, I think? Not Parkside, the other one. Whatever the fashion studio is in, that district, these items are supposed to be for that and for your home. And of course, the grand prize. If we complete all of these, we get this new story which is the Picture Perfect 
story or a timid sim builds confidence to strut their way to supermodel status okay so we basically unlock a supermodel career for our sims which is super cool i feel like it's cool but it's not anything new because my sim was already in the fashion career and i remember them using the catwalk so i don't know what's going to be so different about this but i guess we'll see okay so we're just going to jump right on over and see oh this is new okay so it says that we have 14 days 23 hours so we have 15 days to complete it it's the sweet treat fan fave part one of eight you are in the running to be a sweet treat showdown fan fave play challenge one okay so this is actually different guys we never got an actual quest for this before and it says here that apparently if we complete this we get 10 of these special tokens like the super ones um so that'll be very cool to see i'm 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 actually gonna play a lot of this off camera and then talk to you guys about what I've noticed in the game and the best ways to receive these tokens and the other tokens. And if anything has changed in receiving these easier, basically. I'm going to be talking a lot about that and then I will, of course, show you guys content for it. But I think that this is really cool right here. Let's see if we actually still have our Sweet Treat Showdown event in Parkside. We do indeed. We have our Sweet Treat Showdown event. Nothing looks different to me. Or maybe it does. Maybe this this uh, case right here used to be white and now it's black. I think that looks different. But other than that, everything else pretty much looks the same. So let me know what you guys are going to be thinking about this update. Have you guys already updated your game and started playing? Are you guys waiting for it to come out in certain areas? Let me know what you guys are thinking about this down in the comments below. Also, if you guys are not new to my channel and you have seen, I actually started a Sims Free Play Generations Let's Play. I will link part one up to the top right for you guys. I will also link it down in the description as well as my first video and impressions on this new update telling you guys what we're going to be getting and everything like that if you guys just want to go and check it out for the fun of it. Also, make sure and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you in any way. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not already because apparently a lot of you guys that are watching are not subscribed to my channel. You guys can change that by just hitting the subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification bell because then YouTube will notify you every time I post a new video. If you don't want to be notified every time I post a new video, you can tweak the settings and you can just be posted when certain videos come out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure and check out my new series it will be in a playlist all of its own so it'll be super easy for you guys to find and yeah i cannot wait to see you all in the next one and i can't wait to see how this turns out hopefully it's gonna be worth it bye culture squad